Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 that's it? Game over? Wait, wait, wait. Hey everyone, this is Sean. So today I want to show you how to set up Quinn 3 Coder. It's really wild that they launched it two days ago and I was still making the video for Kimi K2. And I think that the open source model world has just been evolving so fast that it's even impossible for me to keep up. And look at this data. Um, Quinn basically was showing that they have launched this new model and they specifically compared themselves with Kimi DeepSeek, which are the open source model family. They didn't even put Llama here because I think Llama is already out of the league. And they also put the proprietary models Claude Sonic 4 and OpenAI uh, 4.1. I think that one's for academic writing. Personally, I don't want to stick with benchmarks because I think benchmarks are pretty biased by nature because every benchmark is defined by human beings. I want to test it and use it to build something. I think that's the best way to use a model and try a model and uh, figure out if it's actually good for you. Let's get started. I haven't really tried it yet, so let's do it live. So I'm currently at this Quen Coder documentation. There are a few ways to set it up. They have their own Quen code. Right now, everyone's trying to copy Claw code and they want to build their own CLI. You can also use Claw code and I believe you can also use OpenAI's SDK. I think, I think the first thing we need to do is to get their API. You can just register over here, Alibaba Cloud Code. I'm going to go to uh, API keys and then I'm going to create a new API. Quen 3 coder setup. Okay. Awesome. Pretty fast and copy it. All right. I'm going to delete all this. So don't even try to use it. I'll probably start with claw code because that's what I'm familiar with. So I prepared a cursor. I will start a terminal over here to start using claw code. So I'm in this folder, YT Quen 3 coder. By the way, I'll set it up a GitHub so that everyone can use it. The first thing we need to do is to install claw code, which we already have. Second thing we need to do is I'll start a dot M dot local. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go to Quen to copy my API, come back here, replace this with my API, copy this whole thing and then paste it here, hit enter. Okay. I think we're done. And then we should be able to use Claw Code with Quen3. So let me just say Claude. As you can see, we're using Claw Code, but the API base URL is using dash scope international aliyuncs.com slash blah, 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 blah. I'm Claw Code. Of course you're Claw Code. What is your base URL? What does that tell us? It's using Alibaba Cloud, blah, blah, blah. How do I see the money? I want to see how much it's costing me. Unless it's free, man. I don't know. If it's free, then that'll be cool. So I'm using Quim, but I don't know where I can see how much money I'm using. That is not good. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. We're going to install the NPN Quen code as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to export the OpenAI key here. Okay, but then we're going to use the same key. I think it's using a different SDK over here. Let me just paste OpenAI keys over here. Now just enjoy it by simply typing Quen. Quen. Whoa, whoa, this is cool. Guys, this is cool. Look at this. Who are you? Open AI era, <laughs> incorrect API keys provided. Oh, I'm sorry. The key should be this, not that. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. Let's start this one more time. Okay, paste this back in. Ask Quinn. Who are you? I'm Quen 3 Coder. Great. When I say Quen, I feel like the movie Shazam. When, when you say, say Shazam, you turn into Shazam. Okay. I'm Quen 3 Coder, a large language model developed by Tong Yi Lab. Uh, I'm designed to assist with various software engineering tasks, including code writing, uh, debugging, project understanding. How can I help you today? Can you build a 3D game for me. I want it to do something fun and let's do it in one shot. Let's see how it runs. Okay, I'm going to use 3.js. Here's my plan. Create a simple but engaging 3D game. Blah, blah, blah. Keep pure control movement. Start by checking if we have necessary dependencies and build a game. Always allow. I'll create the HTML file with the game structure and all necessary JavaScript code. 
Okay. Why did the developer go broke? Because he used all his cash. Yo, this is pretty cool so far. Let's see. Index.html. 3D game. Good, 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 good. Okay. I'll always allow it. Oh. Whoa. What is this? Use arrow keys or was to move? Oh, whoa, 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 Avoid red obstacle. Oh, I have lives like two on the top left. And if I hit red, I'm done. Oh, yo, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Can we build, can we, can we store the data to Superbase? I have created a Superbase project. Let's connect it in. I actually created a super base for Quinn. It's over here. And I'll delete this, so don't even try to use it. Project URL, super base, project URL equals this, equals this, okay. I'll just say, uh, yes, they are ready and they are in my .m .local file. That was pretty cool, man. Great, let me check your file. Okay, I see Superbase credentials, blah, blah, blah. First, I modified the file to include Superbase client library and implement functionality to save the retrieved scores. Now I get the idea of sort of agentic coding because you don't need agent coding with cursor, but then the majority of the hackers back then used to just focus on hacking with the terminal. They can use the terminal and they can talk to the terminal as if there's an intelligence behind it and they can code with it and the terminal is functioning. It's literally controlling a computer and writing and reading and updating documents. I think all of these CLI tools are doing a great job at controlling the permission of actions here because otherwise the computer would actually take control. And now they at least would ask me, um, <clears throat> do you want to always allow it to go for it or not? So let's see what table you wrote. Is it scores? Okay, let me just copy that. Come back here. Come back here. Go to Superbase, uh, SQL Editor. Uh, create a new submit snippet. Paste it in. Run it. Cool. Let's check the tables. We got one table, which is scores. Wait, what's going on? Cannot access Superbase before initialization. Oh, that's why we got a bug. We got a console bug. This is very fast. See the issue, there's a problem with how we initialize the Superbase client. Let me fix this by updating the script. I think Kimi is making the whole experience of onboarding much easier, much better than Quen. But Quen's speed, man, it's so fast. And I'm based in London, in the UK. It's so far away from I don't know where their server is. Maybe it's in Europe, I don't know. But if it's in China, that would be very impressive. Uh, okay, and then if I, if, I, if I hit the red thing, okay. I have one life, life left. I should be dead, I should be dead soon. Come on, let me die. Wait, why can't I die? Okay, I'm dead. All right, I'm just gonna save, okay, I say, Sean, yo, build. No, I'm gonna say, you can build anything. All right, save score. It's not available at the moment, what? How do I ask a follow-up question? Um, hmm, that's not very good UI. How do I ask questions? Okay, let's play this one more time. I'm just gonna die as quickly as I can. What am I doing, man? 
Yes. Okay. So yo, save score. Good. Come back. Refresh. Good. All right, guys. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. All right. Total calls, 18 calls, success rate 100%, user agreement 100%, 12 minutes. Okay, okay, cool. The CLI is pretty cool. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna show the logo right here. I think this kind of 3.js kind of style is very popular these days because it's so easy to build and then you're not doing like anything full stack. So I just added like a database with Superbase at the end so that um, at least we're doing a little bit of backend and, and database. Um, I think my quick feedback is the number one, it's not very clear where and how much it cost me for this model. And um, just for your information, before running the whole thing, I set up my credit card with them and I'm gonna delete this key right now, okay? But you know, there is no way for me to see how much money I spent. Uh, number two, I think the building experience is pretty good. The response time is very short, it was very fast and I like that part. Number three, I think it was a bit of a surprise that Quinn had their own CLI and I feel like it's getting more popular these days for models to launch their own CLI and I think they're specifically targeting to compete with Claude and uh, I think that's good. Like you need some com competition out there. Um, number four, I feel like, well in my previous video some people gave me the feedback that I could just uh, launch I could just use some extension in VS Code or Cursor to show the difference of what code you're changing with the terminal, uh, which is probably the reason why I couldn't see the change in uh, my code being changed uh, right now. Okay, but I think for this CLI, if you can show me some uh, changing part, just like Cursor in the code real time, that will be a big win. With people like me who already got used to the user behavior of using Cursor highlight code or not highlight code and just ask questions and then it, the agent starts running and then show me the code changes. That's like the most direct way and straightforward way. Last but not least, I think that all of these open source models are pretty smart. They're using the SDKs of existing tools that people are used to like Gemini, oops, sorry, like Gemini, um, OpenAI SDKs, uh, Claude um, Anthropic, Claude Code as, a, as the host. I think that's very smart because Majority of people will probably won't like just download or try another new tool. Most people will be using this um, infrastructure already. And if these open source models are embedded on top of these tools, that's like super, super convenient. So yeah, kudos to Gwen. Uh, thanks for being, bringing such a nice model to the market. And I think kudos to everyone who's building open source model. Like if you look at here, um, the whole thing started with DeepSeek when you know, DeepSeek really shock the market that, you know, you can build open source model with such cheap cost. And I think I always like to thank uh, Llama because at the beginning, that's why the AI model was moving so fast, right? Everybody was following Llama and then retraining, pre-training and post-training their model. And then Kimi K2 was the best open source model at that time until two weeks later, <laughs> Quinn was launched. Um, but I would argue that bench benchmarks are not um, the only source of truth. We should always get hands-on and test things out. So for example, I think Kimi's onboarding experience is much better and it's very clearly showing me the cost. And I think that's a big selling point for them as well. Um, for the agentic coding and the CLI, I feel like Quinn's doing a pretty good job to uh, showcase how you can do agentic coding with their own CLI. And I think potentially that could be a great competitor in the long term for, um, for the market to compete with Claude. And that's good news for developers, to be honest, because uh, we have more choices and we can uh, continue to see, you know, uh, we can benefit from this competition because greater models, greater products are gonna keep coming to us. And uh, let me know if you like this kind of video. This was a very quick and short um, live testing without any preparation. I was just showing you live, but I, my real goal is to show you how I would navigate through things and figure things out, right? And it's very easy to start uh, trying things and building these days, if, with the, with, especially with AI, right? So yeah, you can just learn anything. You can build anything. All right, cool. I hope this is helpful. Thanks so much. Peace.